answer to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. April 9th, 2017, on this live Global Sunday transmission, I'm Alex Jones. Coming in every Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m., back weekdays, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central, nightly news, 7 o'clock Central. Find out all the details at Infowars.com, Infowars.com forward slash show. All right, I've been very deliberative since we got word last Wednesday that Trump was going to launch uh, airstrikes probably. And then on Thursday, I put out a video predicting uh, exactly how it would lay out, that he would do it probably simultaneously as the communist Chinese dictator arrived in Mar-a-Lago, Florida, there from Palm Beach, flying in from uh, China. And I laid out the fact that guaranteed the Russians will be warned ahead of time. It'll be a cosmetic strike on the chemical weapons base where they were supposed to get rid of the chemical weapons. In an agreement four years ago, the Russians were supposed to fly them out. Well, there were so many chemical weapons that Assad had and so many chemical weapons that Hillary had allowed the rebels to bring in out of uh, Libya. That's been mainstream news as well. We just don't have memories. You can pull the articles up for yourself. It's like Associated Press, you name it, that the Russians for some reason didn't get the chemical weapons out. And then supposedly uh, the Pentagon has released the flight track from the airbase over the village and the planes turn around and go back to their base there in Syria. And the Daily Mail and others have gotten photos from the Pentagon that show Syrian chemical weapons, which uh, were similar to the chemical weapons that were also held in Libya and transferred there. I just want to pull back for a moment. Why would Assad, in a six-year Western-backed civil war against al-Qaeda, when the United States is driving them out of the east of the country into Iraq in a pincer move, with U.S. forces in both countries smashing them together, why would they use chemical weapons when that's the red line that Trump said, if you do do that, I won't be like Obama, I will strike you. Why, when you're winning and you haven't done it, would you do it? Now, again, in 2013, mainstream news, it's up on Infowars.com. Paul Watson has articles uh, titled, Ron Paul says Syrian uh, chemical attack, a false flag. And then it's Ron Paul laying out the UN ambassadors and the international uh, you know, medical organizations and others. Mainstream news here confirmed it was the rebels launching chemical attacks on the Syrians inside populated areas for a frame up. And if you scroll down in the article, Ron Paul, chemical weapons attack in Syria, likely a false flag. Zero chance Assad behind the attacks as former congressman. You scroll down that article, we have links to the, the New York Times and the Washington Post and Seymour Hersh and everybody saying all of that. The UN saying it. So people forget and, and, and mainstream news saying Hillary transferred lethal chemical weapons stockpiles to the rebels. And then it's the very stockpiles. See, the rebels aren't fully under globalist control. They get allowed in, then they want to celebrate to be rock stars online. Here in America, you want to be a rock star, a movie star, a sports star to be cool. There, you're Al-Qaeda, you're ISIS, you're Al-Nazra, same group. You want to do that. And so they would videotape themselves launching the attacks and brag about it. And that was a big problem for the controlled media here, wanting to blame it on Assad. But here's the big issue you got to know. Assad did not start the civil war. Assad did not bring in the forces out of Saudi Arabia. Assad didn't do anything. He was secular. Women went to college. They didn't wear burqas. He was a stabilizing force, just like Muammar Gaddafi, but not even as bad as him. Gaddafi, 10 years ago, came in out of the dark to work with the West. They set him up a few years later and took him out. Assad was trying to work with the West. He was raised in England. And Saudi Arabia wants control of that entire region. They took Syria over during the last century for a while. Saudi Arabia is what runs the Sunni, Wahhabist dominant form of Islam. They're the ones that have bought off our politicians. They're the ones starting the wars all over the planet. And they want to take out any country like Iraq or Syria that they don't control. And if Assad did one thing to us, I'd say, sure, get rid of him. But they don't want new states there that are good. They want failed states. So Barack Obama. Hillary Clinton, Lindsey Graham, McCain, Google was involved. Seven years ago in the Arab Spring, they funded it, starting in Tunisia, overthrowing our allies, Hazim Mubarak in Egypt, putting Muslim Brotherhood to kill tens of thousands of people, blow up hundreds of churches. That's still happening today. 
this day, happening in the day, on Palm Sunday. All this is going on. All this is happening. He goes in and meets with the rebels during the Civil War. He goes back a month ago, and now all this happens. We're on the wrong side of history because Assad didn't start it. Our criminal government started it. And General Flynn helped expose it and lead a team of, a team of military leaders to say no to this. And I said, our military has found its soul again and has told Obama we're not going to be Al-Qaeda's Air Force there. We're not going to be part of this. And that's the history. They call me a conspiracy theorist, hoping you're stupid and think someone that's well-researched and well-spoken and who spends their life being informed is making this up, hoping you have the memory of a goldfish, as I say every day. As Gruber said, thank God you have no memory. Thank God you're so stupid. Thank God you're a goldfish. You're not a goldfish. You're a man. Act like one. You're a woman. And I'm not lecturing our audience. Our audience is, is super informed, super angry, and saying I'm not going far enough with anger at Trump. But I'm going to lay out the two paradigms when I come back in the next segment. And we've got big breaking news today I haven't even gotten to yet. Exclusive intel that nobody else has got that's huge. But the globalists with Saudi Arabia are spreading radical Islam everywhere. They're using it against Russia. They just bombed Russia last week. And Al-Qaeda took slash ISIS took credit. Same group, Wahhabists. I keep going back to that because they confuse the names. And you just saw attack in Stockholm. And notice you didn't see any images on the news of what is it, 10 people he killed and a bunch of others reportedly targeting children as he ran them over. And then somebody else with another car rammed into him. Now they're saying all cars have to be driverless. No, how about we don't ship radical Muslims in? He was an asylum seeker who was set to be deported. Turkey, three weeks ago, called for jihad attacks in Europe. The same day, there happened one on London Bridge, or the bridge coming over by Big Bend. They're on the Thames, the Thames, whatever you call it. I mean, this is just crazy, ladies and gentlemen. And he called for jihad and holy war in Europe. And now it's happening. And so notice, you don't see the dead children. Here it is. Suspected Stockholm killer is rejected asylum seeker. The Telegraph. Stockholm attack driver deliberately targeted young children as he drove hijacked lorry into crowd. Think about that. So, the revolution our government started in Syria blew down those borders. It borders the east of Europe. Turkey is now part of Europe. Ergun is now allied with them. He always was. He's allied with ISIS and al-Qaeda in Syria. They're now pouring across, and the dictator of Turkey says, you will let in millions more Muslims per quarter, and you'll give us hundreds of billions of dollars, or we will have them burn down your cities. He snaps his fingers. The Turks come out in mass, and the Germans and the Swedes and the Dutch and everybody who are so Stockholm syndrome, they all roll over and start begging. You know who's not begging? Poland, Hungary, Romania. Russia, they've all been invaded by the Muslims hundreds of times. Europe, Western Europe's never had the Muslims invade because Eastern Europe already stopped it. Eastern Europeans have got dark hair because they got overrun and raped so many times by the Muslims. This to them is, 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 is in their DNA. They know it. Grandma told them about it. And so our government, allied with the Muslims, is waging war against Eastern Europe and against Russia. Hell, they gave a third of Serbia a few years ago to the Muslims out of Albania, who are Wahhabists, who invaded with Saudi Arabian funding. That's what we're dealing with here. Total Islamic invasion with NATO running it. And meanwhile, they say going and taking Assad out is going to stop that. No, it's going to turn it over to them. Why is the fungus? Why is the mold? Why is the yeast taking over? What is going on? What has changed? Dr. Group, the new product, Myco ZX, supports normal fungal and yeast balance proprietary blend of herbs and enzymes made with high quality ingredients. Yeah, fungus is a growing epidemic and I've been testing this formula and, and making changes to this formula for over 10 years. It's available at InfoWarsStore.com. We also have free shipping, orders $50 or more and 10% off when you sign up for auto ship. Additionally, on top of that, please, we only have a limited supply of this. I want to get your reviews. I want to hear what you have to say. For me, it's been incredible. Myco ZX, antifungal, uh, antifungus, uh, anti-yeast. Get it today. Limited run. It'll be months till we get more. InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com, or 888-253-3139. I cannot sell something unless it helps somebody. And you can't support an organization that didn't fight in harder. Look at the response we're getting. We're changing the world together. You are the InfoWar. God bless you all.